Okay, if you're following us, we're uh, live at the Walmart on Keaomoku in Honolulu, Hawaii. We got a small group of people just got here, and I just got here, so we'll wait and see. There are there are uh, security people out here, but so far no um, no problem. Uh, I did some research. This is a um, informational uh, demonstration on the street uh, to support the workers who uh, might want to unionize uh, Walmart. There are 800 or so workers uh, in Walmart in Hawaii. Uh, several stores. I think this is the first and biggest one not unionized workers uh, get an hourly wage, uh, very low benefits and this is a union town and uh, we are in um, Ala Moana area, we're actually right across the street uh, down this way runs right into Ala Moana shopping center have uh, Waikiki not far away which is why we have this kind of uh, touristy trolley I might I might hold it a sign too because I uh, I support uh, unionizing this new uh, plantation this is kind of like the way the plantations were Walmart? Huh? Daniel's asking for something. Just because it's in literature. Let me get Did this. Did you tag it with our Walmart? No. So these people can see it? Huh? Did you tag it with our Walmart? Uh, not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can so send it. I can send it out. I, I emailed uh, KHON and KITV. Cool. In fact, I'll do that right now because I can tweet. What is it like a hashtag? Yeah, hashtag our Walmart. Okay. Because uh, they were all expecting my stream to go up, but as you can see, we have issues going on here. So until we get a couple more bodies. Yeah. Okay. We're waiting for bodies. <laughs> we got two more. So. Sorry for the delay. We just got here, so we're waiting for people, handing out literature. Okay, that's sent out via Twitter. You just join us. We got, just got here. We're at uh, on Kaomoku, right in front of the Walmart on Kaomoku. We've got. Uh, a little demonstration is growing. It's starting with like one person, then we got more people. It is a uh, official, uh, officially to support workers' rights to um, organize and unionize. Now this is a was a union town from the plantation days, and a lot of people see. Uh, this kind of already works uh, as uh, a new kind of plantation. There are some signs here and we'll be waiting for people. There is a security. This is a common. This is a common. This is a common argument. I just argument. left on Quijotes, which usually has milk for around five dollars. They don't. Okay. Walmart's the only one that does. Okay. Uh, you know, so what? What? Are, why are you guys here? For your rights? For your rights? For your rights? You guys are here for your rights? Do you guys used to work for Walmart? Actually, I do. 
You do. You work yes. for them right now. Yes. You're still employed. Yes. And you want to unionize. Yes. Yeah. And that's just for your own benefit. Why did you come out of the street? I am out of the street, man. Yeah, Don't worry about it. I just want to know why you guys. Okay. What, what's your What's your deal here? Because it's a good question. Here, it's a good question. You want to talk? I can talk to you. Yeah. Just go yell. Cool. Right. Just ask you about the yell. Yell. Right now, there's uh, there's a cost of eight hundred employees that sit here as working. They took their benefits away. They cut their pay and they cut their hours. And approximately 25% of them are the only ones who work full time. And as you know, it's very harsh in this environment where they have to work two to three jobs, right? But when when there's when jobs are hard to find, and this is what the corporations want to do, they feel that that's right. You should be holding them on the board. There was a study that was done where every employee at Walmart throughout the whole entire nation made $12.25 right off the bat for race. It only cost per job in this 15 cents more. Shopping we'll follow that. We'll catch uh, that argument later on. Hey, that's a fun one. And it's no April Fool's here. We had somebody talking about unionizing would. That's uh, That's a real that shirt refers to January 17th. I'm having a real struggle right now. That's why I'm upset. It's not your guys' fault. But I'm just, you know, I got my own personal problems with my life here. Once again, you know, broke ass, I make over $25. I don't know how people do it. These kind of places work in But here, I'm, you know, I just feel check to check, and it's just, it makes me sick. That's, uh, I'm going to... We'll get a more in-depth uh, interview. Uh, let, let me take a little bit of a, get some uh, altitude here. Yep, yep. It's live on the internet. I can give you a little bit of the uh, background of this Walmart. This is the first one came up a few years ago. This whole area was called the uh, Ke'eaomoku Super Block. Ten, uh, ten acres of land that uh, used to be uh, little restaurants and hostess bars especially. Those went away. Um, and uh, And at first, uh, Kmart was going to buy it. They put a bid in. They went uh, under. They suffered some financial problems. So um, Kmart didn't, didn't end up buying it. And then there was an agreement with Walmart. And here's the problem. The first thing that came along in my mind, that's an early, uh, early in the 21st century, 2000s, and that was this whole area was uh, much nearer the ocean uh, in the old days and at uh, one point there was a hospital here and in the early in the 1840s um, there were a number of uh, I don't know what to call them uh, um, um, infectious disease uh, breakouts especially among the Hawaiian population had very limited uh, um, immunity to a lot of the western diseases uh, there are a lot of burials in this area um, and uh, the excavation discovered they excavated a lot of bones without proper any kind of proper uh, treatment of the uh, area and there was a lot of litigation they had to hire a anthropologist who was paid by Walmart or the people constructing this the big box and as a consequence uh, a lot of those uh, um, remains were not treated correctly uh, and there was a lawsuit um, by a number of people, Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation and uh, one uh, plaintiff from Nanakuli, a 
Paulette uh, Kalekini, who's still active, and this really brought the idea of the uh, of the uh, importance of the treatment of the remains. Ivi Kupuna, Ivi Kupuna, the remains of the uh, ancestors in, a, in the right way. The one reason I boycotted this uh, Walmart is um, because of that. I've never bought anything here. I came here once to try and buy a tent for the, uh, the Occupy movement, but they were out that day. <laughs> I can I can I can uh, get in here because I support everyone and I will live stream myself being photographed <laughs> We're with uh, Nova Smith that that guy that I'm, I'm not sure what you told him but that he seems satisfied with your uh, well I just saw him well he was afraid of you know like what's happened in some of the unionized you know unionizing that's out there and yet there may be plus and minuses, but at the same time, you can't sit there and say that 800 employees should have their wages, their benefits, their hours cut. We live right. in Honolulu. It, yeah. Nobody can afford that. That's the, right. With the average wage across the nation at 881, you know, we're only asking for 13, 15, you know, here. I mean, right. we're, that's very minimal for here. The right. buying power is like half of what That's you get right. in the mainland. That's right. And, uh, you know, it's time for Walmart to show some respect because who's it costing really? It's costing the community. He's com he's talking about his milk, but then once he sat there and started listening, he realized real quick, all the rest of the fees that comes because they're wanting to undercut all their employees comes from the community. It's a community-based program that I call it. Walmart's community-based program. They right. expect the community to pick up their tab for bad business practices. That's right, that's right. They should. And uh, the Walmart, which is uh, run by a very, or owned by a very wealthy family, actually the wealthiest family in America, I mean, they could, they make their money by not, by having other people do the work. Right. And then they collect the, the money on that. Right. They have, they have enough maybe to, with, with their, with their Walton's Mountain of a hundred billion dollars, maybe uh, some of that should be going to the people that actually right. put well, the work in. Well, the, the six people that uh, run it, the heirs, I yeah. guess you'd say, you know, they, they own 42% of America's uh, family income, you know, the equivalent of 42% wow. of the family's income. You know, and that, that's huge. That's, that's kind of, you know, insulting, really. So here we got billions of people, or millions, actually. We got, uh, I believe, 1.4 million people that's working for Walmart, and uh, you know. Hey, I looked it up today. It said 2.2 million. Well, you know that. Is well, that I'm not sure. See, I saw the 2.2. I yeah. know there was 2.2, and I know they've been doing a lot of cutbacks. Uh. Um, like I know uh, currently they did a study and found that uh, over the past year, I believe. Yeah. Uh, 13 that Walmart stores have expanded 13 percent, meaning there's 13 percent more stores out there, and I believe wow. the number came out to 455 extra stores. But then with that, we've lost 20,000 jobs, which wow. is equivalent of 1. Point, what was it, 1.4% of the labor. So wow. here we've gained 13% more in stores, but we have 1.4 less in employment. And then you gotta remember that even out of that, you know, you're talking 25 to 50% of the people is only making minimum wage, or not minimum wage, but uh, part-time wages. You know, oh, they're not even sitting. Time, that's like under. Yeah. So they're not it, getting medical benefits. Or yeah, they're not like getting anything, and that's where the, that's where the expense comes into the community. You know, because if they can't afford to the, you know, feed their families or right. medical or whatever else, well then somebody has to subsidize that. And where does right. everybody go? To the community. You know, for our government. And then the government does it through welfare, EBT, right. housing. You know, Quest the list goes on. Like that. Yeah. You know, medical. And uh, next thing you know, you know, he came out to, uh, I mean, it was billions and billions of dollars. I had the facts in my, uh, uh, was it $3.68 billion in all? I believe one point something or another billion dollars of that was in medical alone. Wow. You know, and that's yeah. just, you know, based on what's happening with Walmart employees, not 
retail industry across the board. Right, right, You know, right. so it's, I mean, pr corporate practices, I mean, it's just, uh, it's corporate greed. You know, and they're just taking over and they're making the people pay for it like they're the head honchos of everything and they can do whatever they want while right. uh, everybody's living a substandard type of lifestyle. Boy, and this is an expensive place to live if you're not in uh, Honolulu. This is like right. one of the most expensive places to live there is. Well, you got uh, California, Chicago, and New York, which is the three biggest areas yeah. other than Honolulu. Uh, uh, Chicago being the mediocre between them all. Yeah. And um, here, Honolulu costs 79% uh, overall yeah. more for you know your living expenses and yeah. everything is seventy nine percent and housing alone is two hundred and one percent more. I believe that you know two hundred percent more. Right. Yeah. So you know, like I came here and uh, they offered two dollars more an hour for uh, a differential, I guess you would say. You yeah. Know, to to go on top of my pay and like you really think about it, they ain't they ain't nothing. And then, yeah. but you know, I was still willing to take it. But when they sat there and cut my pay, when they cut my hours. And now right. I don't even have the benefits where I can even take care of myself in a healthy means where I'm working all the time. Wow. You know, yeah. I mean, they have people here that actually work and is just sitting there sleeping in the cars waiting for the next shift. Oh, man. Hoping that security doesn't kick them out because they have no place else to go. So well, that's something I believe that with that. Hey, now you're the organization that's our Walmart. Uh, what, what's the what's the goal to have an election for? Are there any uh, Walmarts anywhere that are unionized? Well, there's a warehouse out in Chicago. I see. Um, and every country in the world except for us yeah. has uh, you, uh, uh, unionized Walmarts. So, no kidding. Yeah. Just America doesn't yeah, have Yeah, America unionized. doesn't. You know, America, here's this is where the company starts and we don't have any. Huh? I, I, was, I was just kind of curious, is, have the employees tried to unionize? Actually, this is, um, I'm one of the employees, and uh, we're just starting this campaign here at the store. Are you scared about your job? No. No? No. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I mean, well, I mean, we got the National Labor Board right. Act, or yeah. the National Relations, right. you know. And, yeah. Well, uh, that protects me, right. you know, under Chapter 7. It says that what I can and can't do. Right. You know, the same with them. You know, I'm not, I'm, we're here asking for respect. So, here, they're worried about unions. When we're an organization just saying no, right. we want you to retain, you know, give us back our benefits like you're supposed to give us back the wages that we deserve. You know, we're not even asking for a wage that's actually great for this type of area. It's you're just, not asking just, for a living wage. Yeah, well, uh, currently the organization is asking for $13 and in this area it's $15. Now, $15 is real basic for this area, right? You know, it's, I mean, when the average cost of an apartment of even a studio size is, you know, a thousand, twelve hundred dollars now, right? So when you when you consider that thirteen, fifteen dollars, you know, freedom is, is nothing. But it at least gives you enough of a base where you can feed yourself, keep yourself clothed, and be able to keep a roof over your head. Are they paying above minimum wages rates? Uh, currently, this store has had three de decreases in the last year for uh, for a starting wage, where it used to be at ten dollars, it's now at. Uh, what is it, 940, 950? Wow. And um, so as as inflation keeps rising and the cost of living keeps climbing here in Honolulu, they keep decreasing their wages. Yeah. And uh, with them taking the benefits away and keeping hours away, I, I believe we have anywhere between 25 and 50% of the employees that is now being held at uh, part-time wages. And they don't hire anybody at full-time anymore. You know, and as wow. we know, yeah, and as we know, that everybody's in survival mode here, right? You know, they're working two, three jobs. But it's hard to find those other jobs, and a lot of them are also minimum wage. So when you start off with one job that promised you one thing, and then took it away from you, and keeps taking away, keeps taking away, keeps taking away, now you're looking for another job, but then they do this trick of burying your shift. So now it makes it impossible for you to even guarantee that you can show up for another job that even subsidize your own self. Right. You know, so. Well, I don't live in Hawaii. All about unions. We, we, have, we have real great unions in the state of Washington, the highest minimum wage in the country. Yeah. Well, much, I, much better uh, business uh, climate for employees, I would say, in Washington than employees. So I'm very supportive of this. Yeah, um, on my shift, on my shift on overnights, I I can possibly pull cards and actually get it. But as we know, we can't do it per shift, right? So that's why I'm starting to hit the rest of the shifts. Um, there is a lot of talk of unions. We're backed by the USCW International, which I work greatly with. I've been traveling all over the country doing actions. 
like this, but this is my home base too. And, um, but, uh, you know, inevitably, will that be what's happening? Most likely, right? Um, our Walmart, I look at it as a way of giving the alternative, like, just be respectful to the employees in the community. You know, but, if, but as you know, as people start getting the uh, money, they start you know, unions and what do you got? You know, because uh, unionized Walmart is one of the hardest to take those stores on. This is the number one store in the nation. So when you know that this is the number one in sales, profits, and, and uh, uh, the amount of hirings, um, wow. it gets real hard. Yeah. This is the number one in the nation? Yeah, number one in the nation. In terms of... Uh, profits, sales, employees, the whole bit. Wow. Yeah, this, this is the number right one here. in the nation. Well, and here they're wanting to open up another store in the city. That's right. Oh, that's that's right. <laughs> well, anyways, listen, I wish you guys all the best. Yeah. Here, I can give you a card if you want to get in touch. Or so, or oh, that's on. interesting. This used to be a real union towel. You heard, this is like the number one, uh, number one union, number one uh, Walmart in the nation in terms of uh, sales and pro profitability. And uh, not giving people full time hours so they don't have to pay benefits. If people get sick, we pay for it. You know, we meaning community people. So this is asking for uh, the right to unionize. Holy, you know? He's, uh, Nova Smith, who's the organizer here, uh, said that there are n no uh, unionized stores in America, all the other foreign Walmarts are unionized. The American ones are not. He said there's one warehouse, Walmart Union, uh, Walmart warehouse that's unionized. So we have, uh, this is an interesting sign, the third world is our, is in our backyard, yep. Hey, and there's Midori. <laughs> Slavery is hey, not over. Todd Island's gone. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> you want to say something? Tell us so why are you here? I'm here supporting the, the workers of Walmart. Why? Not Walmart, but the workers. The workers. The, the workers. workers of Walmart. Walmart. Well, um, the, the baking of unions is really cool, right? Haymarket affair, the Haymarket massacre. Woohoo! That was great. We marched, you know, 19 streets, for a little bit, oh, like a little under 40,000 people, right? Yeah. 1940s. I forgot the year. Right. Um, and so that brought, that gave them the five day work week. It Dental. did. It did. It gave the eight hour work day. It gave um, all these great benefits that they never had. And for certain types of multinational, transcontinental corporations that operate on their headquarters and their production line and manufacturing lines outside of the U.S., it's much easier for them to comply with a, lar with a smaller set of standards for their workers. If yeah. I have a, a, a Vietnamese village that's hurting, like that's they, don't, they have no idea what money is, and I have them make me 50 shoes a day, yeah. and I give them, I will say, I'll give you a dollar each shoe for a week, you know? And they make 50 shoes a day, right? But not actually give them a dollar each shoe, right? Instead, they give them a nickel and tell them it's a dollar right, each right. shoe. It's not like they're actually doing that, but the idea is that when you promise something, you don't keep your promises, people hurt, and people's lives are in jeopardy. Well, you mentioned the third world. I heard, and somebody who's watching might be able to look it up and get the information back, but. A while ago, there was they had a production line in uh, Bangladesh. Yes, and there was a fire. Died. Oh, thank you. I needed. Twelve workers died. They burned up. They burned dead. There was a factory production line of jeans for wow. Walmart, Gap, and Old Navy. And so prior to that, um, a series of protests, very much like this one, but yeah. much larger and more active. Yeah. The workers were protesting for better working conditions because their their factory. Which is about this big. Take yeah. out how big this is. This is a big. This is a big this ass is, building. Yeah. This, we call it. 
Yeah, we go by measurements of big ass buildings. Yeah, this this qualifies yeah. as big ass. So a few months ago, the Walmart factory in Bangladesh, yeah, um, they didn't have any windows in their factory. Oh. They had no windows and no one, no windows and two, no exit doors. So no ex exit emergency doors. So they have this production line, right, of jeans and denims, and what was happening is that machines that were actually inside were um, like emitting all these all these like toxic fumes right. inside and so people were getting sick and they weren't allowed to take smoke breaks and so on and so forth and after the series of, um, of protests with the with the workers um, one day an electric fire went out because the maintenance um, wasn't being kept up with in the factory ah. it burst um, the circuit burst and then um, the fire broke out and they didn't have any way to get out. Oh, so man. they literally died to death via gases and fire. Wow. Yeah. 112 that, of them. That's kind of like the the early, uh, there's a fire that in New York in the early days that, that was such a tragedy that it uh, helped um, allow workers to organize and safe working conditions yeah. and that kind of thing. Was there any consequence from this uh, bank? Did they did Walmart pay compensation? Well, or? it took a couple of months for them to be like, we didn't do it. And then a few more weeks for them to be like, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Uh, it took them a little while to admit it, but they said, sorry. Did they pay the any end. compensation? Um, Have no. they modified it? Not, not to my knowledge. Because they don't have to. They can make some money if they well, don't they don't, don't do have that. to. Yeah. They don't have to. And the representative that was um, you know, doing speaking on behalf of this fire um, actually commented on the lack of like even 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 hearing from them about yeah. this about this about this happening, wow. um, they didn't hear from Walmart or maybe they heard from Gap, but, um, didn't hear from them um, as soon. So wow. and that was just a few months ago. Yeah. So that's how we know slavery is still there. When that, that was a few months ago. That makes sense. It, your sign really isn't much of a exaggeration. It's kind no. of the truth. Yeah. Sadly enough. Because the benefits of the workers' labor actually goes to, um, a lot of it goes back to Walton's Mountain of Gold. Well, yeah, well, and then, but that's the bad part, is that Sam Walton's philosophy of Walmart, um, was at first, the very beginning, was made in the USA. Ah. He loved everything. In the, first, in the very, very beginning, if you think back to the first Walmarts, yeah. the first Walmart even, Sam Walton is now dead. Um, wanted everything to be made in the USA. An American apparel for Walmart. <laughs> uh, you know, basically, uh -huh. everything, sweatshop for everything's made in the USA. But after he died, his kids just went somewhere else. They right. went out now to lunch and never came it's back. It's kind of synonymous with cheap Chinese uh, goods. I mean, uh, ex kind of Chinese sweatshop labor kind of goods. Oh, like your phone was made out of. Yeah, yeah, no, Sorry. that's true. <laughs> no, all of them are. Everything is. Yeah. But yeah, and th that the bad, the harsh reality is that um, it doesn't get out fast enough. It doesn't make headline news. Yeah. It's not like oh my God, this factory went out, or these um, these Apple workers in China on right. Foxconn are, Fox you know, yeah, are su committing suicide because of this mass production of Apple products. You know, but when um, but when Kim Kardashian gets in the makeover. There's a right. there's a big outcry, but that's not that's not saying a lot about media either. That's also saying something about the philosophy of society. I mean, like what's important. Yeah. And it's not bad. I mean, whatever you're into, that's fine. But um, <laughs> but some people, but ignorance doesn't always mean their fault. Some people just have no idea. Some people really are just clueless. Boy, I'll tell you. And you know, this town used to be a union town, uh, but um. People got to, people got to fight the whole union fight all over again. You but know, the, whole, the fight with unions is the the, the target is very different. Now. Yeah, no, this like, is yeah, like, this is these are like the new plantations, but it's so right. different. Maybe it's, the it's old so tactics because don't. Because then we were fighting for like um, better working conditions. Then now we're fighting to keep our Lexus. You know, like that's <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? But yeah. it's not. It's a changing of times. So yeah, it's not like it's so horrible. Yeah. But guess where the Lexus are made? So, <laughs> you know, so yeah. it's like, you damn if you do, if you damn if you don't. It's a catch right, 22, right. no matter what you do, it's always there.
Cool. Well, that's a cool <laughs> sign. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. I didn't actually make oh. it. Hey, look. Police. Let's see what's happening here. Hawaii Five O live. <laughs> oh, I thought they were gonna come and arrest the uh, Nova. Um, I came here for the free hats. Say what? I came here for the free hats. Yeah. Yep. Are there free hats? <laughs> no. I don't Smile. get a T-shirt. <laughs> I still caught you before you did it. You did. <laughs> you know how you always get a T-shirt when you like. Do a I get some beeps. Some people remember unions. And Nova's wearing a shirt referencing uh, 1893 when uh, some corporate agribiz types uh, <laughs> staged a armed uh, takeover of uh, the nation of Hawaii and. Uh, formed their own fake republic that then later uh, lobbied for annexation. And that reduced the tariff on uh, sugar and made them a truckload of dough. By dough I mean gold. And by gold, you know, I did a calculation and people are questioning it. I'm getting some questions. I said that the Walton family fortune of a hundred billion dollars if converted to gold could be hauled away in a Ford F-150 pickup but it would need 2,000 trips and people were saying Doug you're making this stuff up so this is the math on it a hundred billion dollars is their uh, estimated wealth of the uh, Walton family, Walton's mountain of gold. Now you take uh, the uh, spot price of gold, which is uh, $1,500 an ounce, 16 ounces per pound, and uh, 2,000 pounds per Ford 150 load, because it's a one-ton pickup. And you get fitting into the payload bay of a Ford 150 is $48 million worth of gold. And you multiply that by 2,000 and you almost get the Walton's family fortune of $100 billion. Can you check the math on that? My math is wrong, let me know and I'll correct it. But I'm not because I'm smart and I can do the math. No, he's lying. He's... <laughs> I just... Here's that person, Madori. The... Here's that person. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> so that's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. And the gold, they get that gold by having other people do lying. the work and then taking the money from that and keeping it. And that's called slavery. Yeah. Which we thought was over. No, it's not. April Fool's. <laughs> April Fool's. It's you thought not that. over. That's very good. <laughs> you thought it was. It's not over. We are here on... We can only be here for a little bit. Damien. I have to pick up Damien. Oh, Damien. The Damien. other man. Man. Where is he? He's working. Yay. He works every day. Yay. And he plays on the computer all day. He's got... There, there's some computer gigs out there. Is he looking at... I've lost him to a laptop. <laughs> Doug. He's well, cheating on me with software programs. <laughs> well... He's it, in love with <laughs> operating systems. OS. I can, I can understand that. And it's kind of outlaw OS, too. It's not like off-the-shelf shit. It's Linux. 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 Linux Open head. source. Open Ubuntu, source. BIOS. RAM. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. But you came out here so to, to help in the... Because uh... I'm lonely, Doug. <laughs> oh, kids, okay, we're taking phone calls. Just standing out here for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You want to talk? <laughs> so you don't want to join in? Hold the sign? Hold the sign. <laughs> don't you work for me? I do. 
That's right. I told them about the, them digging up the bones. They dug up the bones here. They forced themselves into the pyramid in South America, you know? Yeah. That's right. They, they forced their way into small communities that don't want them. And they put the small businesses, the local community businesses, out of business. Now tell me what you're handing so, out. That's why tell I me, don't want that's Tell why me I what want. it is you're handing out to oh, people. Oh, these are flyers. I, I, I don't Let know who made them. But mainly they have a... Like the Facebook, uh, Facebook.com backslash all our Walmart Honolulu. Our go there. So if you go Facebook.com slash our Walmart Honolulu, one, one word? word. Yes. Our Walmart Honolulu on Facebook. Right. Learn, learn about that. And I think the whole point is to allow uh, the workers here to vote on unions to see if they want to unionize at right. some point in the near future. So. Cool. This used to be a union town, and these are the new plantations. Right? You know, it's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now, who wants to say something aside from Midori? Huh? I'm kidding. What? Is <laughs> it? Who aside from Midori wants to say something? I'm kidding. I oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I only did it. That, and thank you very much. I don't like you. Huh? I don't like you. You don't like? I don't like camera, but I like oh, Doug. The camera likes you though, so you're good. I like him. I like Doug. <laughs> How about you, sir? I, I, have, I never seem to have much to say on camera. You always have very... But when he's off camera, it's like... Yeah, very yeah. clear yeah. kind of uh, sign. That's it. That's that kind of says it. That says it. This is pretty good. I'm trying to get uh, kind of picking myself out into the uh, road here. And right down Kaomoku is uh, Alamana Shopping Center. Eventually, uh, we want to vote. Uh, worker want the right of uh, the workers to vote. You know, I want to ask uh, some questions. Money. What is that a reference to? The military industrial complex. Very good. So it's not Walmart related? <laughs> Actually, I can move control now. This looks like a slice of cheese, but it's actually kind of cheese. It's currant cheese. Where were you? Where were you? This is the uh, very first demo of its kind ever here at Walmart in Honolulu. So this is small but historic. Um, not a whole lot of uh, response, some beeps. This is generally a, traditionally a union friendly town, but you know, people forget that was a generation or even two ago, depending on who you are. No, I'm, I'm talking to my people. Yeah, we got some, we got some people helping out. I'm gonna get back in. We'll see uh, what people are 
Facing oncoming traffic here, so that you can see. Uh, kind of a fun, uh, fun group, though. <laughs> Anybody want to say something? I'm, you're live on the internet. Okay, we have a house. And harassment, properly spelled too. It's a hard word to spell sometimes. One R, two S. <laughs> Anything you want to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stand up here and. See what we're looking at. This is a Keao Moku. Um, street? Is it a street? Boulevard? Avenue? Keao Moku. I think it's a boulevard. As Chris said earlier, this is number one in the U.S. in terms of uh, sales and profitability. It's huge. In fact, what I'll do is I'll walk down the street and then walk back up. We'll see uh, how big it is. If you just join us, we're at uh, Walmart on Ke'eao Moku. So I'm going to walk from the corner. And then we'll walk up, get an idea of uh, how big it is. This area was called the uh, Ke'eamoku Super Block um, when it was cleared of restaurants and uh, nightclubs and hostess bars, maybe ooh, end of the 20th century or turn of the century thereabouts. And it, and it was open field. Uh, for a long time because it was huge and nobody wanted to buy it and then uh, early in the 21st century to around 2000 there were some uh, bids on it uh, first by uh, Kmart uh, and then they suffered some economic problems and they couldn't make good on their offer Walmart made an offer a couple of times uh, gave up on the first one and came back and made a, another offer. And this is the uh, end of uh, this, the uh, super block. And it goes all the way to the other other end there. Now, as I was saying, in the old days, in the 1800s, uh, this was very near the ocean. There was no. Uh, Alamoana Shopping Center, and in fact, uh, that where the shopping center is is a result of landfill that came from excavating Alawai Canal hmm, by uh, Dillingham. Okay, so in the mid 1800s, uh, there was a hospital here to treat uh, victims of uh, well, I, you know. It, there, there were a number of uh, infectious disease outbreaks among uh, Native Hawaiians who had uh, no or very limited uh, immunity to the, the diseases that came into the West. And uh, there was a hospital here to, that tried to treat that. A um, lot of deaths and a lot of people buried a lot of native Hawaiians buried on this area that were discovered, that remains were discovered during uh, the construction of the site without any kind of proper treatment uh, of those remains. And it caused uh, some legal suits by various people, including uh, Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation and some private uh, lineal descendants, direct descendants of the people that were buried in this land. That's why I'm pointing it to it here. And this is the outside of the Walmart. They made a uh, 
kind of a curvy sidewalk that really is trying to psychologically encourage people to visit the vendors. So there are many uh, remains here and there were lawsuits. Uh, I mentioned Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation, but also um, a direct descendant, uh, Paulette Kalekini, who's still very active in, in the uh, trying to require the uh, proper treatment of the uh, remains and one of the reasons uh, why I have always boycotted this Walmart is because of their conscious ill treatment of the of the remains here found here uh, now if you shop at Walmart hey you know I, you know I'm not holding anything against you because it's cheap, you know. And if you work here, I hope you get a chance to unionize and get some benefits, health benefits, get some legal uh, legal benefits here. It's a very uh, cheerful uh, demo here. Hey, you want to say something on uh, we're live on the internet. What are you ha what are you passing out? Why are you here? And uh, well, this is a flyer from our 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 Walmart uh, talking about pay wages needing to be living wages. And this is what we're trying to get some information out on. I fighting for living wage. And uh, I'm out here really to encourage people to I we're fighting for a living wage. Thanks. To encourage people to organize, to get together, to use their voices and numbers. It's really important. Well, that, that makes sense. You know, uh, Hawaii used to be kind of known as a union town. Maybe not anymore, you know? Uh, union busting is rampant, especially it, in the age of economic disparity. Boy, I'll tell you, you have, I think you're <laughs> onto something. <laughs> yeah. No, Funny I how, how the, the middle class was at its strongest when union membership was at its highest. That's right. Now I the unions, everybody's <laughs> pay drops, the economy falls out, nobody's pushing to keep up with wages with inflation is one percent idiots or you know, wasting money away and Well they're called job creators. Uh, and, uh, hey, we're fighting for a livable wage. Hi, we're fighting for a livable wage. So on the other hand, they cut the uh, hours so that a lot of the workers can't get uh, Benefit. medical benefits. But that's okay because we have so much money and taxes left over from fighting oil wars <laughs> that we obviously can make sure that everybody has the assistance they need in order to survive. So everyone else actually ends up paying those medical costs since uh, Walmart's not yep. willing to pick up their fair share of the, the deal. All that money that they make here goes to Walton's Mountain of Gold. Yeah, it doesn't stay local. You know, it's it's when you factor in uh, pay rate, you know, pay rates and stuff. Only twenty five percent of money stays local when it's a uh, non local business. But when you buy locally, sixty percent of that money stays in the. In the ah. Now, Nova told us earlier this is the number one Walmart as far as sales and profitability in the in the whole nation. That's amazing. Yeah, this means uh, stronger union when we're ready. Thanks All for handing this stuff out. I'll, I'll let you, uh, if you want to say anything, <laughs> just grab me. I'm here and we're live. Yeah. <laughs> I notice so it's a very good natured uh, informational kind of uh, demo here. And people talking to the uh, people talking to the uh, security that are here. You just joined us. This is where we are. Hi, we're fighting for living. We are at the number one Walmart in the U.S. in terms of sales and profitability. 
where if you work here you can't afford to rent an apartment. We're also in Honolulu. If you're not if you don't live in Honolulu, I'm gonna give you some numbers that you have to try and process. The cost of a median the median cost of a single family home on this island, the island of Oahu where most of the people live, is over six hundred thousand dollars. You'd like some flyering tips? Huh? Flyering tips. Flyering tips. Always smile. <laughs> smile, smile, smile. Oh, I thought you were happy. It's a tactic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, man, I live on the side of the town and the city's trying to steal everything I have. <laughs> Life sucks. Oh, um, man, I told you. But, so, smile. Um, Aloha works quite often if you're in a tourist area. We have a lot of tourists that come here to shop when they're on vacation. Uh, so you gotta gotta look for that tourist vibe and bring out the uh, the aloha that they're familiar hearing. Um, I like aloha anyway. I'm kind of I do aloha. on a lot of things. I don't always use it. Yeah. Uh, right now my yeah, tagline is not aloha. It is fighting for a living wage. Ah. Um, and living wage is something that people are familiar with hearing. Um, important. Fan out. Ah. Because when you get the crowd that is like, oh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom, right, right. You're not sitting here and fighting with them sticking together. That's what you do in the downtown. Well, maybe you can explain, you know, what living wage actually, what is? what does that mean, living wage? Uh, is there a way of calculating that? or? There is, and you can Google that, and if you're on this, you know how to Google. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's set up so that uh, it makes it so that a minimum wage is something that somebody can afford to live on with working 40 hours a week, so uh, full time. Uh, not where they have to have an additional part-time job, or two part-time jobs, or another full-time job, or a full-time and a part-time, or so whatever. Something, it's, it's a wage where if you were working full-time, you could you could live. Right. And so it, it changes from, from economy to economy, uh, you know, both within small levels of different areas of different states to, you know... You know, and even down to counties, um, up to as you know, as big as you're looking at global economy in one country versus another. Um, but yeah, it's it's based on what your cost of living is, your rent, your food, your gas, utilities, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So that, um, in theory, you can have a life in addition right. to be able to pay your bills. Right. You can spend time with your school, your kids after school. And work on making sure their homework gets done. Oh, that you have to be able to afford kids. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be fact. Sometimes in. that's not a, not a <laughs> not an option. Not an option, you know. It just is thrust upon something, someone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's a an important thing, and it's something that I wish we had more union support for. Boy, I'm I'm. Uh... You know, this used to be a union town. I was I'm surprised there isn't more overt union support. And this yeah, is like I the first demo. Yeah, I tried to get an action together to support a living wage. The concept of living wage is not, uh, or minimum wage is not a living wage. Right. Um, and uh, there were unions I talked to just were not interested. I'm not going to go into why because I don't want to smear. That's not why I'm here. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, that w that actually surprised me too. Yeah. So that's why I'm really glad to see you know groups like our Walmart sitting and and talking about a living wage for their employees right. and for their employees' families and you know it's everybody should be able to have a living wage. Uh, you know, I think it's a concept that's not necessarily familiar with all of the public. You know? Yeah. So there's yeah. an uphill battle as far as education. Yeah. Now, I'm glad to see uh, people out here today. I, is this the first demo in front of uh, Walmart for... Uh, no, it's the first one I've been to. The last uh, one they had, um, uh, I was having cold issue uh, stuff. Uh, and I think they had other ones before I moved here. Um, I but I know it's not the first. It's my first. Uh -huh, it's my first, too. Yeah, so this, is, this seems right. like a good nature. <laughs> You're gonna leave me hanging on live stream and not fist bump me, Doug. Oh, really? Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sugar. You want to say your name? You don't have to. 
<laughs> Thank you. I feel like shy today. <laughs> okay, uh, good. Thank you. So this is fun. We have uh, groups of people come out in the uh, by the road and some out under the uh, sign and talking to people right here in front of uh, the Eo Moku, one of the streets that runs uh, Maokai and Makai from mountain to the ocean. And if you follow K.A.L. Moku, you would end up... You run smack into uh, Alamana Shopping Center where, where the ocean was um, at one time until Dillingham dredged out the uh, Alawai Canal and put uh, that material there to actually build up that land area. Very close to Waikiki, so we have these touristy uh, Waikiki type uh, trolleys. I'll, I'll pan. Bye, Doug. Pan. Hey, bye. Nice seeing you. Everybody say goodbye to uh, Midori. He thought I was gone. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. why people are like so upset that they're like oh hey pe people are doing stuff in the streets you know that kind of activity and they're doing this because well think of it there's no open bathrooms anywhere right and then you go to the shelters and they don't even have uh, working plumbing so now you got these homeless individuals that's trying to get themselves up but the city comes along beats them down steals their stuff forces them into the shelter in the substandard living where there's not even uh, uh, plumbing but then all of this is going on because we allow a company like this to run like it is. That's right. And all we have to do is say, no, you cannot act like that. Next step. Next step. Yes. So that's all we, you know, that's all the community has to do is to stand up and say, no, this is wrong. You cannot do that. Not in this area. You can't do that. People can't afford it. They end up on the street. Kind of sitting in on a discussion here. Uh, there are a number of discussions happening. This is an informational thing to build uh, support for. Uh... Okay, that's money. What is this, bro? It just seems like the right thing to draw. I'm still trying to figure out what it is. It does. It does look right. It's a, it's a combination sun, ovum, spermatozoa, kind of very uh, uh, pan symbolic. What did he, he say? He was saying how, um, like he said he's from the ghetto yeah. in Philly. Yeah. And he got out because he made choices. And he went to uh, like the uh, YMCA and and how like like even people in the ghetto is not modern day slavery. It's uh. Because they can make the right choices and get jobs or something. Uh, you know, that, uh, that's part of the current way of thinking about things, you know, that, that doesn't really make sense. Yeah, and well, it's tilted very much to people that own huge corporations. That's true. It's Do, like, doesn't he have, like, authority, though, because he did it himself or something? I mean, I guess he, he said he was in a gang and he got shot twice and he made a choice to uh, get out of the gang and go to school and he made it out. I mean, 
and uh, well, I mean, good for him. Yeah, but I guess it doesn't really touch on the issue of um, the danger of having a small elite with a disproportionate amount of influence, power, and wealth. Yeah, yeah. because because then you have like a because because then you can. Um, oh. He's Yeah. Oh, you want to? Oh, he's going. He has to run to the bathroom, which is why the uh, <laughs> trolley truck is here. It's a trolley truck driver rest stop. No, you. You want to tell us why you're here and um, any I, any? Um. Yeah, I guess because uh, my friends are here, and um, I like the idea of unionizing Walmart. Boy, me too. Like, I was kind of hoping there'd be more Walmart employees out here. The whole, like, or or people that are from other unions that might want to yeah, support. Yeah, like um, it doesn't seem like they want to get unionized very much. Yeah. But I guess it's hard because. Uh, well, it's against the cu current, you know, way of thinking culture that's been inculcated yeah. in people. People don't yeah. think about unions anymore. Yeah. I mean, this is the. Uh, like the second or third largest corporation on the on the face of the earth, one of the new plantations, the WalMarts in other countries are unionized. The only ones that aren't unionized are the ones in the U.S. So, wow. you know. I mean, like, um, I guess it's hard to unionize, though, right? Yeah. Because uh, you lose your money, and then in our society, you're in danger of becoming homeless and the scum of the earth. You yeah. know, in the eyes of yeah. all your peers. And, uh, yeah, they really, that's what it boils down to, is you blame the poor people. And, For their and, poverty. Yeah, and glorify the super rich. Yeah. Even though most of the super rich just inherited their shit. Yeah. They're like an aristocracy. Like know? the Walton fam. Yeah, like the Walmart fam. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're worth a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, you can't lose that. <laughs> and money makes money, man. Money like, if I had a hundred billion dollars, I mean... I could gamble a little bit on Wall Street and <laughs> sure I'd be fine, you know, or, you know, invest in something sh in something solid like oil. <laughs> oh, at least that'd be me. Well, the thing, too, that they got that money by, uh, not by doing the work, but by diverting the money that, you know. Yeah. You just lobby some senators and get some subsidies and call it a day. I tell you. Man. Yeah. But Great. the thing is, though, like, Oh, it just seems like all these people, um, you know, don't want a another burden, you know, it's just kind of like, I can't help but wondering if protesting is not the right way to go about it, like, maybe I should, yeah, well, maybe I should just do something, like, I don't know. Well, this is supposed to be an educational kind of uh, event, but, you know. Your, your thinking might be right on that. What what kinds of things uh, would 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 help you think? I don't know. You know, like Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. I don't know if I want to see people protesting. You rather see people. Well, I think I that the idea was that uh, the only way really to to have power against something so big would be to organize people into a one bunch, you know? It's hard too because, I guess you know what though? The original unions of our history yeah. were multi-ethnic, you know? Yeah, that's that, especially here, it's, yeah. it's that's the big innovation. Oh wow, even here, yeah. Yeah, too. the plantation, Filipino, Japanese. Yeah, but here. wasn't it the such that once the Japanese started unionizing, then they undermined them with the Filipinos and... Those were the early ones and then the ILWU got everybody together in one union said you know you guys are different cultures but economically the same boat so when you go on strike you all go on strike instead of like oh just the Japanese go on strike and you know so that was a big innovation I think uh, that lesson might have been yeah, lost yeah because they tried to do the same thing with in America like you know the Italians would go on strike and then yeah. they bring in the Polish and, yeah, uh, yeah. And the Polish would go on strike and they bring in the uh, you know, I don't know, Irish or whatever. Irish or whatever, yeah. Then play each other. Yeah. Each other. Well, I think uh, for one of the first uh, demo day, here's Sam.
We were just talking about unions. Uh oh. <laughs> and the history of unions. So tell us. Tell and it's us. frustrating, man. It's like. What do you want to know about unions? I'm just, I'm unions just, in Hawaii or unions? I'm just, I'm just not oh, in the right Hawaii, mood. Like, man. I just, I just got spurred by a couple of people and just like, God damn it, I hate people. <laughs> They're just like, well, I don't care. Why should I care? I'm like, ah, I hate Why you. should I care? I give up. So I just start coloring the ground because it made me feel better. Well, what I tell people when I try to organize people is that it has to do with uh, mentality of whether you think of yourself as a we person or a me person. Oh. And the problem is, is most people nowadays think of themselves as me. Yeah. What's in it for me? What's yeah. in it for me? They don't understand. As a, you cannot have a community without everybody around you. And you can't build roads. And you, you can't really maintain the society if all you do is think about yourself. And um, that's the problem with America. Yeah. America thinks about themselves and are very, very greedy. Yeah. And because they're greedy, that's why we have stores like Walmart. And they're all like, oh, well, I work hard, so I deserve it. But the thing is, it's so subjective, you know? Like, Well, you know, the problem is, is that, yeah, they work hard. But they don't realize the reason why they don't get any money is because they don't work as a team. Uh, if they worked as a team, they would get the money. Uh, <laughs> okay? Yes. Unions were set up to because one person by themselves is not powerful enough. You know, no matter what kind of skills you have, you don't have as much skills as 50 people combined, or 100 people combined, or 1,000 people combined. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, um, when these people are out here saying, you know what, I got mine, well, the problem is, the reason why the, the, the Walmarts of the world, the one percenters are so up there, is because everybody says, I got mine, and they ended up getting nothing. Uh, got nothing at all because they were so greedy they got nothing and you take a look at your average American right now they have no pension they have no benefits no nothing and it's all because they were so greedy for that extra dime that extra quarter you know oh I'm gonna go shop at Walmart I'm not gonna shop at the local drugstore or whatever and then they put them all out of business now Walmart right. can charge whatever price they want. Yeah, because they have a monopoly. They have a total monopoly, and it's the fault of the people that nickeled and dime. And they thought, you know, well, I, I'm, I'm being smart. I'm, I'm going to save that extra nickel, I'm gonna save that extra dime. It's hard because that is the way to be frugal in, uh, you know, in traditional societies normally. Yeah, right? you, you, but you but you got to understand that's not a smart program. Right. You know, you're, you're not collectively helping out their next door neighbor. Um, this is no different than donating to United Way or whatever. You're donating to your your Society. Ohana, your your friends and family. Your Ohana, yeah. And if you can't, if you don't understand that, you need to start go back on. Yeah. And, and this is what it's all about. You know, unions are basically self-help groups. And all we're doing is saying, hey, you know what? Um, uh, labor unions, get involved. Get down here. Bring your family. Bring your kids. Get involved. Because if we can't stop Walmart, we can't stop anyone. And Walmart, Walmart's uh, of affliction on our society as a whole. And if we allow them to get as big as they are and not do anything about it, then we're... We're, we're, a, we're, a, we, we're a big problem to society. So how come there's not more, you know, Walmart workers trying to unionize? Because they're free. I mean, if they lose this job, there's good jobs out there that they can go and move into another job and make equivalent wage. So, you know, when you're, you don't know where your next paycheck going to be, and you're two, you know, two weeks away from being on the street, you're, you're kind of hesitant. I mean, I work in a ship girl. And we're talking about furlough for what? 14 days. Whoa. 14 days. 14 days without pay. Now, there's guys out there that they can't pay their mortgages. They can't do. It was 22 days. People were scared. But we had a, a thing at the federal building. How come get any? We had two buses. We only filled one. Why? Because people were lazy and they were scared. Uh, and they they're they're more concerned. They they first they said it's not going to happen. Never do this. Never lay off us. We're too important. Right. They were in a denial mode. 
Well, everybody that 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 shops at Walmart, this is the dime mall. They're they're denying that. You know what? Uh, this I this I'm getting my stuff. I don't care about the extra the guy next to me. I don't care if he gets minimum wage. I don't care if he sleeps on the street. You know, I don't care how he makes the money. That's not my thing. I I, I buy the stuff and that's it. But it, it's a choice. It, you know, there, I know people that have, I have myself have never shopped at Walmart. Me too. I have never, never, not one day shopped at Walmart. But you know what? If they were unionized, I'd be here tomorrow. And that's, you know, Walmart has to think about that. If Walmart was unionized, then I would say, hey, you know what? Costco has a union. Yes. Well, I'm going to write that. Costco has a union. But Costco doesn't have a union in a while. Oh, what? It does. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know my dad that. But dad's like, they're unionized. They're unionized on the mainland, but they're not unionized in Hawaii. No way. And that, what, let, let me explain. They pay their oh. workers really well. They do. And they and their and their CEO came out and said, you know, um, uh, he wants to see the, a living wage. You no, know, if you have if you have companies like that, maybe you don't need a union. Right. But ninety percent of the companies I see don't have that attitude. So I'm not going to go up to Costco and say, hey, you know what, you need a union over here, because I got some places like Walmart where they obviously need a union. Okay, places like Walt, uh, Costco. Costco's doing a good job. Their employers are doing well. So, anyway. Um, no, that's good. That brings up. Oh. So, how do we change, uh, you know, attitudes of uh, the workers, the the people that are out? Just you know, it's uh, it's me instead of we. How do we change that? Well, first thing you have to show. You have to show that um, people are. Um, Corporations. Care. Wait, no. Corporations are people. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. You have to. You have to show. You have to show that that uh, society cares. And the only way they can show society cares is to get out there and, and be seen and, and talk about issues and be involved in discussions. Boy, you, know? you sound like a union leader. <laughs> <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> I, I just got out of a union meeting, an uh, executive board meeting, uh, uh, about half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to see one union guy out here. <laughs> well, you know, How do you get more union guys out here to support? Um, well, first thing, they have, I, I can tell you one of the reasons why you don't see union guys here. Let me explain that. First, Walmart sues anybody oh, right. who's, uh, who happens to be a union leader. And guess what? I am a union leader from the Machinists and Aerospace Workers Federal Local 1998. Uh, why do they sue? Because that's how they scare off people from organizing. Right. Um, uh, we're one of the biggest uh, federal unions. We are the biggest federal union, most active federal union in Hawaii. Uh, I could probably get you 50 people if I could sh explain to them how this fight is everyone's fight. They're more concerned about where the next dollar is going to come sure. from. And that gets back to basically the we and me. Yeah. And I tell everybody, you know what? If this guy is unemployed and he's living on the street, you're paying for his benefits. That's right. Watch out, Doug. So, yes. So, you think there's a problem when, like, some unions, they make, like, you know, like forty-three dollars an hour, and then so so the guys working at McDonald's with make seven are like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know what I mean? You're making so much money. Get, there, you know? Behind you, the lights. Uh, the only people I know that make forty-three dollars an hour are the guys in construction. Uh, I'm at, uh, are the guys making overtime. The guys in construction, they only work six months out of the year. Right. So when you work six months of the other year and you don't know where your next dollar is, you make a lot of money at one time and you, you know, that's how you do. You work, you work straight. You work overtime, you, work, you get the job done, and then you're, you're off for six months. Um, wages is re really relative. Uh, you know, sometimes people talk about, you know, the longshoremen. Oh, the longshoremen make this crazy amount of money. Well, there's a lot of things that, that they don't understand. There's certain rules that um, about health benefits and you know whether you pay out of your pocket. 
like federal workers. You, you hear the quote all the time. Well, federal workers make uh, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Well, how do they come out with the figure? I tell you, it's not anywhere close to that. Well, what they're doing is they're they're taking your retirement benefits, your health and, uh, annual leave, your sick leave, your medical, and they're all throwing it together and saying this is a package. And since you're going to retire at 56 and you're going to live to 90, you're, it's worth about 120 million dollars. Uh, so it's all in how you look at the money. So, you know, everybody says, well, this guy deserves more and this guy deserves less. Well, that, you know what? Whatever you can get, it's good for you. <laughs> that, that's the way I look at it. Uh, the more money you make, the more money you spend. The more money you spend, it circulates in the society. I want everybody to make as much money as possible. As a matter of fact, the best way for the economy to get better is for the poorest to get yeah. more money uh, because they circulate the money in the economy the quickest yeah. really rich people they go on tours to you know southeast asia you know yeah. europe they spend it somewhere else but poor people they get a couple of extra bucks they spend it in hawaii right. so right. if you really want to stimulate the economy what you need need to do is you need to put it, the money at uh, raise the minimum wage to twelve dollars an hour and you have well, that's, that's a lot of money. You know what? That's not. Because basically, that's what the living wage is. Twelve bucks, 12 bucks an, an hour. Here, huh? Yes. That seems and that seems right. Yeah. And uh, uh, we looked at some of the figures. Uh, we, we do wage surveys. The federal government does wage surveys of uh, every year, where we go we, we go into the with the Department of Labor, the labor unions. And we go to non-union and union companies and we look at their wages and we come up with surveys of what the average workers make. And uh, the minimum wage for a uh, federal employee, WG1, step one, is $12 an hour. Uh, so when I start saying $12 an hour, I mean it. Now, if you go non-appropriated, it's ten fifty-six or something like that for the lowest non-appropriated wage, which is approximately half of what the... Uh, blue collar workers or a white collar. So yeah, I, I think it should be about twelve dollars an hour. Seems reasonable. Um, some people say ten, yeah. but I say twelve. I, I lean towards a higher end. Uh, but I think if you did that, I think the money would uh, would uh, stimulate the economy. It'd be a general benefit to the community to pay that much. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, thanks uh, for talking to us. All right, Doc. <laughs> Thank you, well, we'll see you around. And uh, remember. Uh, if you can join a union, try to. It's not, they're not bad. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was telling people this used to be a real union union place. So, uh, yeah, and well, Hawaii is uh, the second, well, actually the third largest union state. And uh, guess who the second largest is? Who is the second largest? Alaska. Oh. Alaska is Republican. That's right. Palin comes from Alaska. That's now, like, right. what does it tell you? Well, just because you're Democrat doesn't necessarily mean, mean you're, you're anti-union. Anti -union. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, think about that. Number one is New York. Number two is Alaska. And number oh. three is Hawaii. We used to be number two. Right, right. Uh, the only reason why we have such high numbers in Hawaii is because all the state workers are unionized. Ah. Uh. And, um... Uh, that's our state law that allows for unionization of state workers because the National Labor Relations Act excludes state workers. Oh. Uh, and yes, and in some states if the wages are so low, low, it's ridiculous because they don't even have to pay the federal wage for state Whoa. Workers. Yeah. And uh, Hawaii also covers agriculture workers under the state law. And the agriculture workers are excluded. Wow. Uh, just a little tidbit for you. Um, there is a minimum wage, and I'm not—I'm trying to remember what state it is, but it's only two dollars and seven cents an hour. Whoa! And it applies to corporations that are below that make less than a couple hundred thousand a year because it's ag culture workers. Oh! And so we could do the same thing if our politicians were brave enough. And say, well, Walmart, since you make your multi-billion dollar corporation, uh, why don't we charge you more than the other? Let's make a special 
uh, exemption for corporations that are uh, multi-billion dollar that are corporations. Huge, yeah. And say, well, you should pay more because you make more profit, you have bigger profit. Yeah. They've done that with lower corporations in other states. So they should do it the less. other way we for the do bigger a reverse ones. And do it over here. And that way, we wouldn't hurt all the small businesses who can't afford raising. That's wages. right. That's right. And Chris told me this is this is the number one Walmart in terms of sales and profitability oh, in the U.S. If you think about how much money this corp, this, you know, they, these, you're talking about a multi-billion dollar corporation. If these guys would raise their wage voluntarily to $12 an hour, it would set the minimum wage for a while. That's right. You know? That's right. And that's what we're asking them. I don't, I don't think that's likely, though. Well, I don't think, I don't think it's likely, but I tell you, it's a, it's a, it's they have the money to do it. If they really cared about the community, yeah. they would, should do that. And then you know what? They would get the best workers. That's right. Everybody, That's everybody right. would flock to them. They'd, they'd and love their, to. And their, yeah. repu their reputation would be stellar. Yeah. Okay? Right. Because, you know, they care about the community as a whole. That's right. But hell, they would piss the hell out of all these other small corporations. <laughs> because you know what? The big guys set the wages for everything. That's an interesting point. Yeah, and talk about big guys. I looked up some figures. Uh, Walmart has uh, annual revenues of four hundred forty-seven billion dollars. Annual revenue. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. A matter of fact, if you take a look at their competition, like Kmart, and they're 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 small fries <laughs> compared to Walmart. Compared to all these other. Uh, They're huge, you know, yeah. yeah. Sears and everything, that's nothing. Those, that's are, right. those, are, those are petty handling corporations compared to Walmart. In, in fact, in terms of revenue, I think they're the third largest corporation on the face of the earth. You know? after, after Exxon and Royal Dutch right. Shell. You right. know? That's just amazing. Well, I'm going to go talk to okay. people. Thanks very much, Sam. And we'll, we'll be talking to you again. Yes. <laughs> that was Sam Mitchell. Guy. Uh, I think we're about to wrap up here, but we got a we got a bunch of guys here in the street. Pretty good. All asking to help uh, for the right to unionize. Right to unionize. Oh, there's the bus. No, it wouldn't help for one second. We are down on the sidewalk. Probably we'll be leaving soon for a small but really interesting uh, educational kind of. demonstration uh, asking for the uh, getting public support for the workers to uh, organize into a union now, I did ask the question well why aren't there more workers out there yep, fear for their jobs same with other uh, union support because of uh, Walmart's size They're huge <laughs> so how are you doing? Okay. I got two more little carbons. Oh, okay. Let's see. The last four have been the hardest to get through. Good. Maybe we'll... I might be uh, cutting off battery. soon. Yeah. Battery and, and light. light. We are here on Ke'ao Moku. Of what used to be the uh, super block. Actually, you know, I didn't walk all the way. I, I walked up from the corner. I didn't walk up to the uh, other extent of the uh, of Walmart because it's a whole huge uh, block here in the uh, Ala Moana area, uh, high rent retail area. Oh, no.
have uh, places that are open all the time here. That's uh, 24 hour joints and that kind of thing. And we're walking up to the end of uh, this part here that we're walking uh, next to is uh, the parking area. Let's see if I can. We were talking earlier to Sam Mitchell, who is the uh, of the uh, machinist union, the only uh, union guy to come out, not afraid to come out. That was pretty cool. He was talking about how to think about um, the community we live in, and we got to move from thinking from a me society to a we society. It's about it's we, you know, for the benefit of us. Oops. I just almost ran off some guy, ran over some guys. Yeah. It's a little bit hazardous here. I'm walking. I'm going to show the other side of the street uh, so you can see something because it's kind of dark. On this sidewalk. And then behind me, of course, is the uh, parking area. And then when we get to the very end, we get an idea of the super block side. We'll walk back down to the demonstration, and then we'll uh, and then that'll be our presentation for the evening. Uh, so this was one of the first demos of our Walmart, uh, which is an organization that uh, try and get uh, allow unionization of the Walmart workers here in uh, Honolulu. And we're at the uh, corner, the very end. So we'll walk back. This was the Superblock site of. Uh, near the ocean uh, in the early 19th century and uh, site of a hospital many uh, people many native Hawaiian remains uh, were excavated during the uh, construction of the site and it set a lot of uh, legal precedent in how remains should be treated uh, some people were not sympathetic to the idea of even accounting for the uh, remains. And there was some legal action by Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation and uh, individual uh, direct descendants. I'm not going to run across this. Uh, namely, uh, one uh, Paulette Kalekini, who's uh, still active. In the effort for the proper treatment of the uh, ancestral remains of uh, Native Hawaiians, as well as others, you know, because when you dig up bones, I mean, you can't tell whose it is and the treatment of ancestral remains very important uh, to all of us to all cultures especially uh, native uh, native Hawaiian culture and one reason I've always boycotted uh, Walmart is uh, their total disregard for the importance of the uh, ancestral remains of Native Hawaiians who were interred in, in this area and whose remains were not treated correctly, even accounted for God knows how many uh, remains were uh, hidden or thrown away or, or paved over. It's, uh, I'm not being superstitious about it, I, I think uh, 
we go. So we're walking back down toward the ocean, down Keamoku. We use down as the direction toward the ocean and uh, up as the direction toward the uh, mountains. So to my right is the uh, parking lot. We're heading toward the uh, store proper. This super block, again, 10 acres. Very near the ocean in the old days. You need uh, some figures. This is uh, the most profitable Walmart in America, which is a corporation with revenues of $447 billion in 2010, I believe, by uh, revenue, the third largest corporation on earth, right behind uh, Royal Dutch Shell and Exxon. And here's a little demo here, right in front of the Sign, Walmart, Sam's Club, American Savings, all the uh, other uh, vendors. Sign here that says, Yes, I have a Can't see it. I am neutral with my nuclear. Hey, this was kind of a fun demo. It was small, but it would engage a lot of people. Any, anything you want to say before we I think it's here? good. It's a good build-up for yeah. May 1st. Um, now I oh, tell us what's happening May 1st. May 1st uh, is International Workers' Day, and um, that's where there's a lot of activities that's planned for it. You know, I mean, okay. we're, yeah, this will be a big action here. And so there's, is there going to be something here on May 1st? There's going to be a lot going on here. Oh, <laughs> I bet there's. It'll be more fun. It'll be more lively, maybe. Yeah, yes. a lot more lively. This is, like I said, this is an informational. Just try and get some right. the community, you know, knowledgeable of what's going on, especially right. with the second store that's opening or thinking about opening up. That's right and, down the street, like downtown. Yeah, right? downtown in the old Macy's building. So, you know, it's uh, get some literature out there so people can start looking up on uh, all the stats and what's going on with Walmart. Currently and national, you know, uh, here and nationally. Right. And uh, you know, it's just a buildup. But uh, May first is when the real fun starts. Great. Thanks, Chris. And then if we want to find out more, Facebook slash Our Walmart Honolulu. Yes, Facebook.com uh, forward slash Our Walmart Honolulu. Great. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I'll zoom I out on your time. Oh, tips. actually, Facebook.com. More. Facebook.com. <laughs> yeah, Facebook.com. Yes, okay, so. One of the really important things is you don't want to block someone's walking path. Because that really pisses them off and, you know, especially if they're already in their bubble, they don't want their bubble pop. That's like really overjarring, makes people feel vulnerable and assaulted. Right. So we're going we're gonna to show how it's done. So. Okay, okay. Okay, so Doug, walk towards me. Okay, here I am like the guy walking down okay, the street. Okay, hey, yeah, oh. you know, blah, blah. Hey, hey, you're sitting here and blocking this. It's like, you know, I am telling you, you need to stop and you need to read this and I'm going to get in your face and I'm not going to let you pass. <laughs> Does that make you very agreeable to well, read anything? Does oh, that no, make that's you feel kinda, very open? That's a little hard. So right. Should we do a take two? Take two. Okay, here, I'm going to be Doug again. Take two. Here I am. I'm, I'm walking down the street here. Hey, we're and fighting for a li living wage? Oh, of course. Living wage. Right. Thank you. So you need to the, 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 catch their attention. That is pretty side good. Step out of the way. Follow that arm. That's good. That works. I like that. And then you'd keep this, and then you'd read it, too. And right, then you'd and if have they wave a, off, then, you know, have a good day, whatever. They take it, say thank you or whatnot, and they read it, they ask questions. That's the good thing. And but it's they're not, not going to be likely to ask questions right. if you're up, and you're, like, not letting right. them pass. Right, right. That's pretty good. Where'd you learn that? That's good stuff. Union! Union! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Thank you. And this is what's being passed out. This is an emergency. Ah, uh, calling it in. Also important Living to know your wages. laws, by the way. Every every local has different ordinances about flyers. Right. Uh, so, like here, uh, you cannot actually hand out a flyer within ten feet of any intersection, crosswalk. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep really legal, so nobody can come after you or say. Oh, these guys had an yeah. illegal action. Yeah, right. if that's what you're doing an arrestable action with, it's just blocking people's traffic, then that's stupid. And you're going, you, you got to find a better strategy. I 
So holding signs here is legal. Now, if there was a tent here, that might be illegal. No, as long as we had 36 inch clearance. And there, and there is, because this is a wide well, side. We put up the cap. We, it we, we, we should have brought. Should have brought that. Uh, we're fighting for it. We didn't bring the cat. Somebody <laughs> forgot the cat. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a bar to wrap up. So I'm gonna let everyone go and save my battery. Thanks for joining us. Historic uh, little demo, informational demo for our Walmart in preparation for May 1st. It's a comeback.